everyone welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to I'm going to compare uh, some female characters uh, because the restrictions on the world boss legend it's so specific and I'm getting some comments you know I was so gazing storm and there were people in the comments saying that T9 Makar is better than storm and stuff like that and I, I'm not doubt on uh, you know who is better or whatever but I did like top six characters here and I'm going to compare them in the stages that they are able to participate all of them and that's one of these stages it's uh, stage 29 of null world boss legend and I'm going to see the first the first 30 stages the first 30 bars how fast they can out DPS it uh, this is gonna be the first test about GBR guys it's a different world totally depending on if you have a CTP of rage or not and I'm gonna tell you from now uh, before I go further for world boss legend and see you sp uh, more clear stage 54 which uh, were storm able to do stage 55 where Jane was able to do so there is restrictions that you can use characters on specific stages that's why you can't really say that Tina is better than the others or Tina is worse than the others so let's start from the start and GBR for me guys the best character to participate in GBR the easiest clear every single day of the week is Tina period I'm doing GBR like I've done like more than 500 GBR runs 100% if you go back and check my lives you can go and see Thena was the easiest thing to clear this world boss and I'm using a CTP of rage on here I'm using a couple of Odin's blessing also after Thena Wanda is one of the it's the ne very next one for universal you know uh, because of course there is Makari if you the boss is uh, blast type she is fast also and you can see the builds Wanda and Thena it's the easiest for GBR and after that you have to consider I mean for female specific you have to consider the typing if the boss it's in universal uh, you know if the boss is universal perhaps uh, Jane gonna do a really good job also if the boss it's blast type Makar is gonna be the best if the boss is combo type storm could be the best but storm generally is the worst out of all these females I'm testing for all for GBR Jane and Gwenpool uh, have their own spotlight when they have the advantage but yes let's go and check the builds on the rest of the characters my storm also go to CP of judgment uh, I, I got no artifact for here let's fast forward everyone's gears to show you uh, to understand if I have the uh, artifact also for Jane I have no artifact mighty energy got Jane and Gwenpool uh, Wanda and Thena got CTP of raids and Makari three CTP of raids and CTP of judgment is only for storm uh, and you can see I've got couple of Odin's blessing on every single character Makari is full stacked on and Yes, you can see I got here artifact also you can see I'm talking about top tier characters I have them build it really well two mighty energy three raids one CTP of judgment Let's go through world boss legend now first let's start with this one and this one is uh, Wanda Wanda is the second best character to clear world uh, GBR for my account of course you have to consider that I'm having 25% peers I'm having all of these stats I already saw you and uh, CTP of raids is always better for GBR at the moment for every single character you're using raids feels better uh, of course there is uh, some exceptions like super giant super giant can't work with raids but she is really cool with a city of judgment uh, against world boss uh, I mean GBR and world boss and ABX and yes here you see 41 seconds for my Wanda and I'm using 
uh, this theme up to and I'm using this theme up I know she's not getting the full buff of Fox but I felt like you know the CDP of Insight from my Fox could work better so Wanda clocked on 41 seconds let's see Makari here with leadership of wave and, and white Fox support and Makari is getting advantage of the full buff but that's something you know you can't fix I mean I'm using Thina with her leadership Cersei and White Fox but that's because Thina got her own leadership got her own tags and that's why you uh, people saying she is the best and she is also costing 8800 crystals which means that you have to farm for her a lot of days a lot of months probably so you know people okay you can see there 42 seconds 42 seconds for Makari and Makari had uh, better supports than Wanda so yeah at the moment Wanda wins I feel like and uh, let's go for Jane of course mighty energy we all know it's better for world boss legend but uh, I'm, I'm, str I'm progressing world boss legend with raids with multiple characters like Makari as you saw in the previous video I did stage 40, 54 of uh, Mephisto with her and her CTP of raids you can see there 24 seconds this is like uh, half it's almost half than Wanda so Jane goes first here and let's see Jane is the first let's see let me show you what Gwenpool can pull out here guys and it is not using uh, Deadpool leadership because it's only female this stage it's the only two I figure out it's going to be the best wave and Valkyrie support and here perhaps I missed a bit the proc also but you still you can see there she's shredding through the content if I didn't lost the proc perhaps I could be able to pass this even faster guys but here with missing a proc on my tier 3 I'm able to do the same timing with Wanda and Makari and uh, yes let's go for Storm Storm it's the only one who use elemental damage oh it's Wanda also but Wanda it's not uh, blast type so she's not taking full advantage of ancient one that's why I didn't use him I should use Ancient One instead of White Fox, to be honest. But still, look at this, guys. For people saying Storm is not that good and she is lame or whatever, you can see she is clocking the same as Jane. Of course, Jane is tier 3 and level 70, but she got a mighty energy. And my girl here got a normal judgment. And let's go for the test, everyone waiting. <laughs> Thina, how fast Thina can do that? And yes, her rotation uh, could be different if you're using a CTP of destruction. Uh, but generally, guys, everyone wants to proc on her tier 3 or her third skill. Everything else, it's like meh. And with the CTP of raids, you're able to use your skills more you know free and having the proc on it so 30 seconds for here so she feels like uh, I mean Gwenpool uh, Jane Gwenpool and Storm feels better than her at least for this but guys this is not fair this is not fair for Thina this is not fair for the other characters I mean in the game in the in the state of the game that we are at the moment you can't really say that this character is better than the other it's depending on what you want what's the needs of your account what you are farming on world boss legend no one can tell you you know go build Thina skip uh, Jane go build Jane skip Storm if you want to go in the top level and you want to play like stage 50s and stuff like that you have to build uh, all the females because they are useful for different reasons uh, here you can see I, I, I ran through and did some uh, higher stages stage 20 of uh, Thina Thina helps me so much with this world boss he, he, he helped me doing stage 20 to stage 
24, easy peasy, with a CTP of Rage of Ultron. I wasn't able to clear him if I didn't have Thina when she came into my account, you know, uh, with the Eternals update and all this stuff. She was really useful and she still is. She is the best clear for GBR and I can clear easy peasy stage 20 of Ultron. You can see here I'm struggling. But uh, if I if I was more lucky, you can see there she's shredding the HP of the boss. You know the tier three do like three to four bars, so no one can say that she's not that good or useful. From the other side, you know uh, I'm having here Jane, and this this is a stage that I was able to participate for very first time. It's stage fifty five, and stage fifty five it's basically the highest stage of all world boss legend i've ever participated i am in the same stage uh with my mephisto but i haven't cleared it yet because i'm skipping i'm using iron man for ultron stage 32 so this is the best thing in my account for world boss legend and i was able to do it with my jane as you can see she is really fast to avoid everything. She is uh, here. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you an example here. Yes. In the last phase, uh, I was able to find out, you know, the proper way to proc and having like good results. Here is the timing for the proc. And most people is doing four cancel three delay cancel five into six. But fits more to me doing three delay cancel four five six. Uh, feels like I'm aiming better for my tier three with here. And the point basically it's not to show you another run for uh, now, but to explain to you that every single character got their own use usefulness. You know, they're they're useful for specific things. C is human. Thina is not a human. Thina cannot participate in stage 50, uh, 55, but my gene can do it. So, yes, I mean, it's only 50 seconds left. So, in, in one way, we can say here that uh, as I'm using Jane to clear, look at this, guys. It's so sweet looking at the bars melting, five bars with one tier three rotation. And I'm stage 55, okay? So, yes. Is uh, Thina good? Yes, she is really good. But you can see here, my girls... Uh, no, wrong. Girls, uh, yes. Let me see which video I want to show you. Also... Oh, let me... Yeah, this is uh, when I used storm on stage 53 because if you want to go to stage 55 you need to clear stage 53 I, why i'm seeing you random stages it's because there is specific tags that you have to use uh, for for mutants storm it's the best it's the best is she the best female perhaps perhaps at the moment it is the only level 80 if you want to say that uh, you have to combine GBR and World Boss Legend and find a final winner, I could tell you Storm, guys. I could tell you Storm because, yes, she can do, uh, she can do of course, uh, GBR. She can do all the Blast types. She can do the Mutants. She can do the Females. She can do Combat Tags. So you have to consider where you can use the characters more. You can see here, in one minute long, I was able to clear stage 53 first 30 bars, which is huge. Because uh, previously, I was testing here in 29 and she was doing 30 seconds. So, she is really fast. And I was able to clear this stage. And let me show you uh, the final. Because previously, you saw stage 55, Jane... Jane Foster, uh, stage 55, and she was able to clear it with like 50 seconds left. Basically 30 seconds left. But look at this storm, bro. She's doing two stages less, but she's doing it with one minute and 30 seconds left. That means she got potential to do like way higher. 
of course you can't really use here for uh, the next for, for more content because uh, she's not human and you need humans after stage 45 as you can see here and let me show you so guys don't drop yourself into the trap of uh, you know comparing all the characters all the females all the uh, you know you don't need to do that because every single character got their own uniqueness and you can use them for specific content of course there is the characters people are love you know I really prefer using this one or this one but you can see here I mean with blast type and superhero storm can clear stage 30s of Ultron where Thena the best case scenario is clearing stage 24 and there is no place for her after until very late for now also the biggest stage I can do it's stage 29 with Athena of course Athena is really cool but if you have storm you can do 30 to 35 you can do the villain of course you can do the agility of course not the speed types but you have here on stage 50 to stage 54 also so it's different time you know stage 55 I can use Gwenpool and Jean and Jane I mean I'm telling Jane Jean for some reason and yes Mephisto also you can use uh, here not here here you can use Makari and Gwenpool as you saw in the previous video Gwenpool did way faster than Makari but Makari is also better with mighty energy or mighty destruction instead of raids for world boss legend but in total Makari is way more useful with the raids against GBR, ABX so it's not fair saying that this character is better, the other character is better you can see Storm is usable here also she is a character that you could use for multiple world boss legends is so useful and here this is the leadership tag that only Thena and Makari got from the list I saw you so yeah there is no clear winner guys it's depending on what you need but the damage output she's doing right now against world boss legend storm is number one 100 percent guys the second character i could say uh jane foster 100 percent she's shredding through content and after this uh two i could go for thena because Thena is useful for, you could utilize here for ABX, ZBR, for World Boss Legend. There is a lot of reasons to play with Thena. And I'm totally with you guys, believing Thena is the best, okay? But at the moment, Storm got the more juice for World Boss Legend. After Storm, I could go for Jane. After, I could go for Gwenpool and Makari and perhaps Thena. Because there is no tags to play with them. Hell to the Queen, Storm Queen, Glass Cannon of the Year, of course. Slowest character of the year, of course. Does she has the best damage against Nal and the other World Boss Legend? Yes, she has. Is she good for GBR or any other game mode? I'm not 100% sure, I believe not. I hope I helped you decide what to build next. Don't give me a favor guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video drop a comment down below in the description What you want to see next for comparing females comparing specific tags comparing what I'm here for you I'm doing my vacation, but I want to drop some content guys, so Drop down below in the description uh, drop, drop down the below in the comments your ideas what you want me to do and I'm gonna see you in the next Bye-bye to everyone.